Action. Very little is known about deleted scenes from the film. A movie about... There's nothing included on the Blu-ray, mm. nor are there any scenes available online. Outcome. All that I've been able to dig up are the following five scenes. I can feel her. Two scenes shown in the original teaser that were not shown in the original film. I One scene that was pared down into a dream sequence. I was. And then two scenes that have come from interview mentions only. You had a lot of Deleted scene number one, Caroline Withering. This isn't a deleted scene as much as a series of deleted scenes. When the spell or dance at the center of the film requires jumps that Susie is not capable of, Madame Blanc transplants Caroline's abilities onto Susie. This leaves Caroline weakened. In the film, we see Caroline have a seizure after the initial incident and a little afterwards. In the initial teaser for the film, there's a scene where Caroline is struggling and Sarah, in her Volk outfit, runs out to her aid. There was a through line in the original screenplay where after her abilities are taken, Caroline begins a downward descent, showing just how disposable the girls are to the coven. Deleted scene number two, Untitled. Throughout the film, there are abstract sequences packed with various homages to feminist art, which was said to inform the visual language of the film. Unfortunately for Luca, Amazon was sued by the estate of one of the artists, Anna Mandietta. The main piece I want to focus on is Untitled from the Silhouette, 1976. This image is from a greater series whereby the artist would create works by leaving an imprint of herself in various mediums. The artist was exploring the mystical and emotional connection between her body and nature. The piece is haunting and striking, likely meant to relate to the impression any of the mothers has left in their absence, or a reference to resurrection. The placement of the image in front of a cave is likely a reference to the empty tomb after Christ's resurrection. The female imprint on the cloth is highly reminiscent of the infamous Shroud of Turin, a holy relic meant to be the bodily imprint of Christ himself. The visuals remind me of 70s horror films such as The Wicker Man and Picnic at Hanging Rock, two of my favorite films of the era. Can't go much further. It's a shame that the image couldn't appear in the film, but obviously the narrative doesn't suffer with its absence. Deleted scene number three, David Bowie. Here's a quote from Luca. We had a scene in the movie where the girls go to a David Bowie concert, and we even shot it, but you have to be very disciplined in terms of pace, and so we cut it. In the deleted scene, the glam rocker was played by Gala Moody, an actress who also depicts one of the Susie's classmates. David Bowie's mentioned first in the script when Patricia visits Dr. Klemperer. She is found singing Heroes from the album of the same name. The song is written about two lovers, one from the East and the other from West Berlin, which was still divided at the time the film takes place. Later on in the film, there is a scene at a Bowie concert where Susie finds herself unable to enjoy herself due to the overwhelming presence of audible breathing and sighing that have been plaguing her throughout the screenplay. This scene takes place fairly early in the script, on a night when the majority of the staff are enjoying a meal and communicating in their minds about how to progress in their plans at choosing a new girl for their final ceremony. Deleted scene number four, Naomi Banyan. Naomi Banyan is Susie's twin sister, and we do see her in the credit sequence. She looks remarkably similar to Dakota, with one minor or major difference. She appears to be pregnant. There was likely some duality going on between the two characters in the original screenplay, with Naomi accepting and living out the puritanical ways and Susie rejecting them. Luca confirms in an interview that sequences with Naomi were cut from the film. She was Susie's tether to the real world, apart from her mother, whom she merely tolerated, according to the screenplay. Near the end of the film in the screenplay, Mrs. Banyan's life ends as death comes for her, and it is Naomi who tends to her. Having a twin would have been visually confusing, but I would have loved to have seen the following conversation to have been in the final film. Deleted scene number five, Susie and Madame Blanc dance. As the bond between the two grows stronger, the two share a moment glimpsed in the teaser and featurettes. Here we see a more direct explanation of the language of dance and its use in witchcraft. Is there a chance any of these film sequences will ever turn up either online or on another official release? 
Not likely. The movie didn't make enough money theatrically, and it didn't make enough money on home release either. It's quite possible this footage is going to be lost to time. Maybe one day someone will dig up a vault and unearth this stuff, but until then, all we can do is dream about it. 